Hey guys, I'm Justin Klein with GinReviews.com and today we have a very special guest. We have Bombay London Dry Gin, the white label, uh, also referred to as Bombay Dry Gin. And I know a lot of you have been asking for this comparison, asking me to review this. Let me just go into kind of some of the differences between uh, this gin as well as the Bombay. The difference is, is that this has eight ingredients, the white one does, versus ten with the Bombay Sapphire. Bombay Sapphire has grains of paradise as well as uh, Kubeb berries, which the white one does not. Uh, the second thing about it is there's more of a juniper presence in the uh, London Dry. I've never really considered the uh, Bombay Sapphire being a London Dry gin. I actually uh, think that the botanicals take more of a forward uh, center stage than the juniper itself. And the other thing that's different about two of these guys right here is that the alcohol by volume. Uh, what's interesting is that traditionally London Dry will be 47% by alcohol, which is the Bombay right here. This is uh, only 43. So we're going to go ahead and uh, try the Bombay uh, Dry Gin White Label and see what we got. Uh, it's quite pleasant uh, coming in. You you do smell a lot more juniper than anything else. And I would ask anybody at home uh, to do a blind taste test with their friends between uh, London Dry White uh, Bombay versus Bombay uh, Sapphire to see which one wins. Um, I'm willing to bet nine times out of ten that you might be surprised, and I'll leave it at that. So where we're at here is this is just a, del a delicious gin. Uh, I know that there was a huge contest that was done for the blue label, uh, not to get too much into that, and uh, what ended up happening with that is that they've actually uh, released another uh, version of the blue label you might see in the stores. Uh, I have not had the opportunity to see it yet, but I have seen ads for it, so I'm looking at that too. So Bombay is a classic line. It's uh, I don't feel ever going to go away, and it's one of the big three along with Tangeray and Beefeater. And the white label is just a classic uh, London dry gin. You're, you're not going to break the bank on this one. And it's a little less uh, known. Uh, most people are only aware of the Bombay Sapphire when you ask them about Bombay. So all in all, uh, my recommendation is if you want to get started and you need a gin in your collection, uh, look no further than the Bombay dry uh, gin, the white label, because it's a traditional gin that's been around since 1761. It's the original recipe. And uh, it's just definitely delicious. It's a classic London Dry, and if you want to know what those taste like, uh, this is where it's at. So I'm Justin Klein with GinReviews.com, reminding you to drink responsibly. Cheers, my friends.